This problem says a 500 liter container of gas is at 10 atmospheres and 200 degrees C. When the tank cools to 150 degrees C, the pressure of the gas is 30 atmospheres. What is the volume of the gas? So let's start by looking at the first sentence. The first sentence tells us that a gas is 500 liters when it's also at 10 atmospheres and 200 degrees C. So that would be all in the first condition. This is all happening at the same time. So let's label, I like to label um, the volume at the first condition is 500 liters. The pressure at the first condition is 10 atmospheres. And the temperature at the first condition is 200 degrees Celsius. Then it says the tank cools to 150 degrees C. So this is something that changes about its condition. So let's call that T2 is 150 degrees C. And at that temperature, the pressure is 30 atmospheres. So that would be our P2. We're looking for what is the volume of the gas. So what we're looking for is V2. When we have this relationship of volume, pressure, and temperature at two different um, instances, we can use the combined gas law, which is P1 V1 over T1 is equal to P2 V2 over T2. So keep in mind that whenever we're using a equation that's related to the ideal gas law, we need to have temperature in Kelvin. And the other units don't really matter, they just have to be consistent. Like for example, since P1 is in atmospheres, P2 has to be in atmospheres as well, which it is. And then since V1 is in liters, V2, we will find that in a unit of liters unless we were to convert this. So in order to convert our temperatures, we need to use the formula that temperature in Kelvin is equal to temperature in Celsius plus 273.15. And so now we can add our 273.15 to our temperatures to get them in Kelvin. So 200 plus 273.15 is equal to 473.15 Kelvin. And 150 degrees C plus 273.15 is equal to 150 plus 273.15 is 423.15 Kelvin. So now we can plug in our numbers. Let me give myself a little bit more space. So this is... Ten. Since we know all of our units are going to cancel out and our volume is going to be in liters, we don't have to plug in our units. So we plug in 10 times 500 over 473.15 is equal to P2 is 30 times V2 is what we're looking for over T2 is 423.15. So now we can solve for our V2 first by clearing our fraction by multiplying on both sides by the denominators. So we're using like the butterfly method. So the 423.15 times the top on the left, the 473.15 times the top on the right. So multiplying that all out, 10 times 500 times 423.15 is 2,100 um, or sorry, 2,115,750 is equal to 30 times 473.15 is 14,194.5. And then we have the V2 that remains here. To finish solving, we need to divide both sides by the 14,000. Plugging that into my calculator, 
I get V2 is equal to 149.054. And we need to round, let's see, round to, well, it doesn't really, I guess it's one sig fig, but let's maybe round it to the nearest whole number. So 149 liters. So I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, um, subscribe to my channel for more homework help questions like this one. And also, feel free to leave any questions that you have in the comments, and I'll do my best to make a video for you. Thanks for watching.